All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. Cody found this one. There's, this is going to be... We're going to actually keep going until we find the best one. Yeah. So we'll just keep slowly adding these. This is the cheapest one. Six ninety five. Um, It's called the Ninja Outdoorsman. 11 and 1. 11 and 1. If you didn't, couldn't guess, it is a credit card. Knife. Thingamajig. It's actually pretty... It's thicker than yeah, I expected. it's pretty robust. It actually feels kind of sharp. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was wondering. The saw blade's actually, like, cutting my finger. So, we're well, not cutting my finger, but it's grabbing the skin. Which is kind of going to this, gonna make this difficult, because... So, number one is the bottle opener. Really not. That's pretty good, actually. Wow. Damn. Yeah. It's because it's got a nice little sharp edge, and you and know it's what? thick. And that thing hooks that lip nice, like a can opener. So, hey, not bad. Number two would be your knife edge, which would be let me get this stuff out of the way. Up here. The problem is that it gets, it stays thick, like, so you only have that little bevel, beveled edge, and you have no swiping power either. So, like, lay the paper down and do a couple lines through it. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. All right, I didn't push really hard, so let's try it one more time. There you go. Yeah, it's sharp. Number three would be the screwdriver, which would be that corner. Number four would be the ruler, which is this guy here. Number five is the cap opener. Pretty good. One down. You do kind of have to hold it a certain way, though, so you're not grabbing the saw blade. Number six is the four position wrench, which is this guy here in the middle. It's doing the job, right? Yeah, I mean... If there was any sort of like tension though, it would be rough. There's no real place to grab it. I mean, I don't really necessarily know what the hell that's for. You're not gonna it, be like. It's one of those things where it's an emergency scenario. You know you're not gonna. And have honestly, just ability. now I slid it around and caught myself. Like not that it cut me, but like you have a saw, a knife, and then you're expected to turn it. So yeah, it's it's gonna get a little crowded. Uh, number seven is your butterfly wrench, which is that long slit right there. It's too thick. It's actually too big. So, all right, you get the idea, though. Basically, that's supposed to go over and be able to tighten or loosen a butterfly nut. Um, it's a cool little add-on. It's a cool concept if it works, but it doesn't work, so... Number eight is the saw blade, which is the one that's cutting into my finger, right there. It's actually really not that bad. It is a pretty sharp knife. It's actually like a saw. As in saw, but it's actually like a double serrated or double tooth saw. Not that that little two inch spot is gonna really do much. But. Number nine is the direction ancillary indication, which is this guy here. A water compass, we've seen many different videos and illustrations where you do the drop of water, you magnetize a piece of metal, and you let it do the rest of the work. Essentially, this is an assist for it, but what was that guy's name? Let's just say Rob's Homemade Life. So basically what he's saying is that this is magnetized, and if you put a lanyard through it and let it hang, it'll point north-south. Well, like, that's one like way, magnet. but the other way is what he's saying is put a couple of drops of water into that circle 
and put a magnetized. No, he didn't. He said that that didn't work because this is magnetized. It was pulling it. Mm. Anyway. Well, then I'm not quite who sure. Who the f knows what that's for? <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 is the two position wrench, which is right there. And number 11 would be your lanyard hole key ring, which would be that little hole right there. I mean, look, it's not it's not bad. It'll open a box. It'll, fuck, it'll do pretty much a, a lot of the stuff you need. And I'm not going to lie. I carry... Um, the doohickey? Yeah, the doohickey from Night Eyes. I've used it a bunch of times, and I've never had problems with it. And it's pretty cool. The thing just about it, it's a little heavy, so... Putting this in my wallet would kind of annoy me. Yeah, I mean... It's not meant for hardcore it's not, use. It's a novelty, fun little thing to have. But the point is, is that we're going to... We started on the low end at 7, and we're going to show you the different grades of these multi-tool cards and how much better they can get in due time. It's not a bad little thing. I mean, it, I, I wouldn't carry it, but... You know... I wouldn't carry it just knowing that there is a lot better options out there. And as we found out, I paid $7 for this. Just looking online, we found out people have paid $1 for this very exact same one. Yeah, you got wrong. I, I got ripped off on that you one. You got got. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. This was a quick one. A little fun video. New Age Tactical. Follow us on Instagram. Like. Subscribe. We're going to start putting that button up there if we don't start getting some subscribes. Um, yeah, follow us on Instagram. We put up a bunch of funny stuff and everything like that. Other than that, New Age Tactical. Over and out.